Russian soldiers killed a Navy SEAL in Bakhmut battle, Ukraine. Washington, in the United States, the death of Special Forces deserter SEAL Daniel Swift during the fighting for Bakhmut has been confirmed. Since 2019, Daniel Swift has had the status of AWOL or a member of the armed forces is away without permission. According to journalists, the commando managed to participate in the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. For his studies in the Middle East, he was awarded the Fighting Terrorism Medal. Swift is the latest American to die in Ukraine since Russia launched its offensive nearly a year ago, CBS News said. At least eight Americans have been killed in Ukraine since the invasion began. The U.S. State Department has long discouraged Americans from going to fight for Ukraine. U.S. citizens who travel to Ukraine, especially with the purpose of participating in fighting there, they face significant risks, including the very real risk of capture or death, State Department spokesperson Ned Price said last March. The United States, as you know, is not able to provide assistance to evacuate U.S. citizens from Ukraine, including those Americans who may decide to travel to Ukraine to participate in the ongoing war. 2022 Russian Invasion of Ukraine On 21 February 2022, the Russian government claimed that Ukrainian shelling had destroyed an FSB border facility on the Russia-Ukraine border, and claimed that it had killed five Ukrainian soldiers who tried to cross into Russian territory. Ukraine denied being involved in both incidents and called them a false flag. On the same day, the Russian government formally recognized the self-proclaimed DPR and LPR as independent states. According to Putin not only in their de facto controlled areas, but the Ukrainian oblasts as a whole, and Putin ordered Russian troops, including tanks, to enter the regions. On 24 February 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered an invasion of Ukraine by Russian armed forces previously concentrated along the border. The invasion followed by targeted airstrikes of military buildings in the country, as well as tanks. Entering via the Belarus border. Russia has so far not recognized the invasion of Ukraine as a war, although that is exactly what it is, claiming that it is a special military operation. According to the UN, in which Russia has its permanent. For military action to be defined as a special military operation, it must have a resolution issued by the UN. There is no such resolution, which automatically defines the military actions of the Russians as an invasion and war against the citizen of Ukraine.